Hey people, I'm fixing to blow your mind again. If you haven't uh, read the story on on Snitchin's uh, Sumerian Tablets, uh, there's several places you can see it. It'll scroll and you can read it on YouTube. And there's a, there's a black guy that breaks it down in about 40 minutes, does a real good job. If anybody knows who that is, let me know and I'll leave the link below. And there's many more tablets that's been found since then in, in red. You can find them here online, red. So I was searching words through the Bible, through the Hebrew Bible, and I ended up here on Jeremiah 24, the good and the bad figs. And so if you're new here, um, I've found about one out of a thousand words that they've correctly interpreted. And so what I'm saying, what you're hearing out of my mouth, is, is what I'm reading. So this says, the rain, E, the, R, A, N, I, the rain make, the rain make you, and that's the, that's the biggest hoax, is this is Yahweh or Jehovah, it's not, it's you, if you understand how to read this, it's talking to you, if you don't understand how to read it, it means the Lord, go ask the Lord what it says, and that's, and that's the Lord that lives here on earth, the Lord of your manor. Go ask your preacher. But the rain make you when sing. Do da. And I thought that was funny. And so I, I read on some more. The rain make you. The rain make. The yard is, is to make the work. The rain make you when. In the cycle of life. In the cycle of life is when. When sing, that that N I is ing, ing, or is N J, ing, like N G. To sing, do da, D U D A Y, D U D A I, do da. The tain is, and this M on the final of a word is is an S. I, I don't read enough of it. I haven't found anywhere where it doesn't work yet. It's called a final M, but it's actually an M on one way and an S on the other. It's another twist. The language has several twists. But it's the tain is. The tain is what you acquire is. From, from woods. W-O-D-I-S. From the woods lipping. From the, the woods perimeter. They call, E-Y, they, E is the, Y, T-H-E-Y, they call you Gyro Eagle what? And uh, I thought that was pretty funny, the, the rain make you when sing, do da, tame from the, from the woods lipping. They call you gyro eagle what? And so the gyro, it, it starts with A, it reads backwards, J-R-H-A. A gyro is what happens in a, in a year, you know, the, the, the earth in a day. The earth gyro is one circle a day, you know, and it, uh, and it gyros all around the sun in a year. You can almost see that Y-R-H-A. But that's the gyro. The H, as in Noah, is just spelled N-H. Noah. Gyro. To gyro eagle what? And so this is the, the G-L-U-T. E-G-L-U-T. The gyro eagle what? Con the eagle connected seal. U-T. Connected seal. And so I... I read a little farther and it says the Nebuchadnezzar here. It doesn't actually say that. There's two different words for Nebuchadnezzar. And this is this is Nebuchadnezzar. It's spelled a little different. But I went to looking for the seal of Nebuchadnezzar and uh, and I knew he had one. And and that's when I run into this. So I told him I was going to steal his movie 
or steal a clip from it, but I want to play the whole thing. It's just two minutes long, but I'm going to leave you the link underneath, and you can go to his page and the movies there and all these pictures. And uh, there's a lot more to the story. You can read the story about how it comes about these. Carefully wrought container housing cryptic instructions. With an imprint of the sign of the goddess Ishtar at its base, the outer seal showed a priest and priestess worshipping before their goddess. Deciphering the ancient cuneiform text of the inner seal revealed directions to unearth a terrible secret. Fortunately, these findings were brought to the attention of a government. So I laid this on out here. I thought this would be a good one to try to figure out this language a little bit. And I learned some things. But, uh, you know, they said this said Nebuchadnezzar here. And so uh, I figured I could, I could break that down and learn some about the language. And I did. And so this is, this is King, what they call Lugal. This is what they call King here. And... Um, and what I noticed is, is the, the letter for L in this old Sumerian, or their letter for N, looks more like, a, or one of their letters for N. This is one of them here. But there's another one that looks more like, a, it looks more like the L. You see, this is the letter for man as it evolved, and king as it evolved. On this this letter for N, you can see a N here, and you can also see a Hebrew L there. They say it sits this way. I flip it up this way because it reads better. They say this says the Naram Sin, and they're reading it like this: N R M S N, and uh. And like I say, masons work the other way. They work from the bottom up. And if you read it, and you, so I just flip it over, read it down. This, it's it's the M. And it looks like uh, looks like the M. Water dripping off of it. M R N. Morning sun. The morning sun. And so um, yeah, it looks like the Hebrew L. And so. The, the Hebrew God is, is A-L and the, and the Sumerian God is A-N, An means God. And so it's the same language. All they did was in, in the Sumerian translations, they mixing up the sound. But that's a L, not an N. Makes the L sound. And so their gods weren't on their gods were all same same language they maybe they did pronounce it in but they could look at each other's writings and read it they know what it meant it just had a different sound but it was the same letter meaning you can see they also have that n that looks like new similar for new in egypt and so there's other interpretations earlier that it looked like they fit a lot better. But Dan New is great. See the new there. Dan New. So that would be why we have two different words for, for sun. Morning sun or soul. S O L. Soul. But you can see how they're reading it down here. Naram and then up. Sin. And most probably this is the same thing thing here just like the Egyptians do they always double the word up so when I first started reading this I kind of figured that there was pictures that went with it and uh, and you can see had carried her away captive and now it's easier to see that that means the gal what and that's where the princess come from but you see in, in his fist he's holding a bow and so what they'll do now is every time it says fist, Q-S-T, P-H-S-T, the fist, that'll be bow. If, 
and it and it comes from here be in fist with the bow and so every time it says fist now they'll give it the meaning rainbow the arch is in fist the arch the archer the bow anything that has this fist in it they'll, they'll say is a bow but when I started reading just the, the first chapter I, I figured that this P out here and these S's were, were pictures that went with this to, to help figure out the language and you see it a lot here in this Song of Moses in Deuteronomy 32 and, uh, and here it's S and R and this is a seal and this is a reverse it's called a Song of Moses and uh, there's 67 seals across here the seal and the reverse side of it like a coin it has a face and reverse and so the, you'll see that the, it's just three words, four words, and the reverse is two words on the seal. But when you're reading it, they won't let you know that's going on. They'll just try to force something together. So this word they give Nebuchadnezzar here, it's, it's, it's Nebuchadrasser here. It's, it's spelled different. And you can see it give it this the same. It comes up 26 times like this. And it comes up 26 times the other way as Nebuchadnezzar. And then it says and here, just a vav in front of it. And the Nebuchadraxer. And here it's of, of Nebuchadraxer. So actually this Draxer comes up more times than Neezer does. But on this Nebuchadnezzar, it's just spelled M B C D N A X R. And so the N B is Nab, and that's the word when it says, Thou shalt not steal, is to nab, be nabbing something. And so then it's the C D N. So a CDN is coding. That's the sequence of three nucleotides which form your DNA. The, the coding. The NAB, the codon axer. The axer to cut it off. To NAB, the codon axer. And so the other one is the, the NAB, the code racer. The nab, nab to code, racer, and so they done nab the girl to gyro to spin around, to spin around the gal what to nab code racer. So in the Sumerian tablets, you'll see that the gods are always changing name to the latest greatest thing that they did or the latest evil thing that they did. But uh, two chapters before that is where I was reading when I run into that about the the good father with the bad son and the bad father with the good son. And old Jeho Kim, he uh, he was wasn't given a burial, and and they tattooed on his dead body the demon codonizer. The Nebuchadnezzar, Codenezer. And, and uh, the whole story is not in here, but it's in other writings. But it was a warning for Jehokian. And high, high, and it reads backwards and forwards, attack. High in any name have you. So now we get a better idea what this means. The rain make you when shine do day. 
when the sun shine, you reign. So king means to reign. The tain is from wood of place, L of ping, of place. They call you. They called you up out of the woods. You was out there hunting on a Sunday. It was your day off. Gyro, the gal what nab to coden racer. Go, turn around. Go go get that girl turn around. Get her come back home. The, the, the gal what they, they stole to coden the race. They want to get some DNA. From the king, milk. Milk is your king, as in Milky Way. The, the, the kings of the way. From, from like. And so the kings are, are your, your horoscopes. You know, whatever your horoscope is, that's what you're going to be like. From like love in ball, love in war, play ball. So before I got here, I was reading that uh, that Jerusalem, you know, they said there was no J. How they come up with Jerusalem? And it's not. It's just to to make Russell from, and uh, that's Brussels, France, was the old Jerusalem. And uh, I'm gonna prove it to you where I read it before. They're talking about the saddle. And I'm going to show you where they're lying about the history there, too. And a lot of these old Hebrew books that I, I used to get, I can't get them anymore. But um, the word Israel isn't Israel either. The, this is Israel here. This was the old Israel. And it was this one right here. They call Jezreel, but it's I-Z-R-O-L-E. It's a lot closer to Israel. Than, uh, than their word, uh, his rule. But uh, it looks like what happened is they come over here and they fire scarred these mountains. I.S. The fire scar. And they burnt all this off so it would erode and fill this, this river up. That, and I showed you before, they had blocked this off and the writings talk about how they were patching this up and they never found any trace of bitumen over here in Gomorrah they never found any trace of bitumen like they say and what they did is they did that they closed that river on purpose to dry all this out that's what caused the desert over here all this evaporated out. It probably caused earthquakes. The plate tectonics, when you remove that much water, you know, it lose weight. This whole land would shift up. So I'm about 99% sure this is fake. And the biggest tell is that fact check hasn't fact checked it yet. But it's from Acme Clockworks. And it's, I'm sure it's a, a goldsmith clock maker that has too much time on his hands or possibly got paid to set out some disinfo so I leave the link to his page you can go look and read about it and uh, and on his YouTube he's got some other cool stuff that he builds trying to mislead people but uh, but these seals are real and the Bible is written about them and so when uh, when it says in his fist it doesn't mean bow it depends on who you're talking about, in whose fist. In whose fist you're talking about. It has a different meaning every time. It means what's in the fist. Be, be fist, in fist. And uh, so I, I found something um, that I've known when I started this. And it's proof that the Hebrew Bible was written by the fallen angels that rebelled against God. And uh, and we can see it in just the first couple lines in the first chapter. Is uh, it talks all about it, and it goes along with this picture and this picture. 
in this picture and we decode the, the whole first chapter. I don't think we miss any words in there. But I'll have that up soon. All right, good day.